here is how we can reduce iPad heat. So a few things you need to do. At first, avoid direct sunlight because keeping your iPad in the sunlight is just gonna exaggerate the process of just iPhone getting hotter. So make sure you do not do that. Then what you can do is to remove the case if you have any to, you know, make sure that the heat can dissipate more effectively. So that's like a, another tip I would have for you. Then sometimes a simple restart can clear up the background processes that might be causing overheating. Because if you have used your iPad for a longer time, some things might accumulate in the background. So make sure you restart the iPad. Then check the software update section to see if there isn't any iPad OS that has been added because that can also improve the general way the software operates. And then there are also some specific things which you need to do. For example, if you use your iPad for gaming, then it's generally not recommended to charge the iPad while you are using or playing the games, which might be like intensive on the graphics as it can all add up and make the iPad really hot, right? There are also some apps which are pretty intensive and for productivity, like video editors and stuff like that, like Procreate and GoodNotes. And if you use those apps extensively, consider taking breaks because this might also cause the iPad to overheat. But yeah, it kind of depends on the specific models. So that's how it works. If you want to reduce the iPad's like uh, system overload, just try to use the low power mode every once in a while. It can reduce the workload of your iPad and it should be fine for at least a while. So these are the tips I have for you. Let me know below in the comments if it worked. Subscribe for more tips and I'll catch you later.